what's going on y'all we are back out here on the water today just when we thought winter was over we have one more cold snap it is march 15th but it is also 42 degrees this morning so we are dressed a little bit warmer than we have been but we are headed out to that bridge right there to target some sheep's head but here's the kicker we're going to be targeting these sheep's head with the voodoo shrimp if y'all have never used these lures they are amazing but yeah we're gonna get in here see if we can find some sheep's head on the voodoo shrimp pulling up on our bridge now we're gonna start off in some shallower water and we're just gonna work down until we find these fish i think they're gonna be somewhere between three and ten feet but once we locate them we're gonna swap over to the voodoo shrimp but to find the fish i am gonna start off throwing some fiddler crabs got a couple dozen in this bucket right here after we catch three sheep's head on the fiddler crabs we're gonna swap over to the voodoo shrimp and see how it works all right first drop going down we just want to look and see if we can locate these sheep's head it being march these sheep's head are on their way migrating offshore so to know that our artificial is effective we want to use the best bait to catch these sheep's head which is fiddler crabs so that's why we're starting off throwing them and once we know that the sheep's head are here we're gonna swap over to that artificial oh he's on <clears throat> there he is first fish sheep's head come here that didn't take too long found in five foot of water stop give up come here dude that did not take long at all. It's only like my third piling that I dropped on. Come here. Yeah, that's the targeted species. Oh, sheep's head. First one of the morning. And first one for the fiddler trail. A little on the small side compared to what we've been catching in here but still a good one and if we were keeping which we're not today this would be a perfect fish to take to the house y'all check that fish out right there beautiful fish i mean these guys are so pretty awesome colors purple gold black and white stripes just beautiful fish man this is about a 16 incher like i said would be a really good keeping size fish but we are not keeping it today go ahead and let you go bye bye all right so we are definitely on some fish we're about to drop back down try to pick up another one but check it out we are trying to get to 40,000 subscribers this year we are currently at 29,000. i need all of y'all's help to reach that goal so please head over there hit that subscribe button we got a ton of awesome content getting ready to roll out to y'all so subscribe to make sure y'all get to see that all right next drop going down Oh, he let go. Oh, there he went. He bit it. Give it a second. Yep, he's still on. There he is. Oh, lost another one. Dang it. Oh, he nailed it. One, two, three. There. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Come here. Mm -mm. Mm, he's got some digs it's really not fighting like a sheep's head it is wow that was a crazy fighting fish swimming all over the place a lot of times sheep's head just continue to dig down and go towards the pylons this guy did not i think it's because my line's all wrapped around him boy she is fat man that's a fat sheep's head right there well that is landed sheep's head number two and that is a solid 17 18 inch fish Whew, well there she is sheep's head number two right there not very long but look how fat that sheep's head is i mean she has got a doggone gut on her and that's another one i caught one the other day that had some green gold on its face and that one does too such beautiful fish man awesome colors on them well 
this is the second one we've landed we've missed two of them so they're definitely here go ahead and let it go appreciate the fight girl bye bye all right we are looking for one more sheep's head and then we're going to swap over to the voodoo they're down there we're going to go ahead and rig up another crab drop back down and try to pick up another sheep's head so i get a lot of questions about the hooks that i use with these fiddler crabs this is what they are right here gamakatsu octopus hook size number two not two aught okay size two is a lot smaller than a two aught hook uh, you can get away with anything from a size four to a size one but these are pretty good hooks and i just take that hook and just run it through the side of that crab right there and that's pretty much how i hook them seems to work pretty well oh we got one on we got one on yep i gotta get in better position to set the hook mm, good one good one he came out oh that's a good fish come here yeah well, there it is sheep's head number three they're not fired up per se we've been out here for about i don't know 45 minutes or so missed two this is the third connection that's a good fish that is a good sheep's head right there man all right looks like we're gonna be moving on to the voodoo now y'all so there she is that's our third fish right there and it is a good one to end the crabs about to go ahead and get a good release on her and uh we're gonna go ahead and make that swap to voodoo bye bye all right getting ready to swap over to the voodoo but check it out we are releasing these fish and in every video where i'm releasing fish i get people that comment want to know if i eat fish and yes the answer is yes i do eat fish but i'm just curious to know from y'all what is your favorite way to cook these fish uh, everybody says sheep's head are good i think sheep's head are amazing tasting fish but i want to know from y'all what is your favorite way to cook these fish all right we got our voodoo shrimp rigged up right here show y'all what we got going on so we are using the voodoo shrimp uh, by egret baits this is the two inch baby shrimp so this is the smallest one they got when you're fishing for sheep's head you do not want to go big you want to go with something small that way they got a better chance of hitting that shrimp getting that hook in their mouth so we got the two inch baby shrimp already got it rigged up i am going to dab a little bit of shrimp uh procure on there give it a little bit of scent cast out see if we can catch one a little dab will do you procure is some of the best scent on the market good stuff right there all right first cast going out mm, he nailed it just missed one we're on we're on oh flounder all right well our first fish is a flounder right on not the sheep said we were looking for all right <laughs> there you go small little flounder right there on the small voodoo right in front of that bridge pilot surprised the crap out of me when he bit these guys are coming in thick and we're going to start targeting flounder real heavy starting next week so if y'all like flounder content i got a bunch headed your way just hit that subscribe button so you get to see all of that oh dang it missed another one that felt like a sheep's head for sure he's on he's on there we go there we go come here come here sheep's head boom finally missed a couple and then we got this guy 
that was a really good one that I missed right beside where I, where I hooked this one. Come on, come here. <laughs> All right, well, that is the first sheep's head on the voodoo shrimp. I don't know if I've told y'all enough, but these guys are so fat right now. They are definitely getting ready to make their run offshore because they are about to bust. <sighs> y'all look at that sheep's head right there. Go ahead and pop the old voodoo shrimp out of you. All right, let go, let go. One of the best lures ever made right there for inshore fishing, the voodoo shrimp. Landed that beautiful sheep's head right there. All right, girl, we'll see ya. Bye bye. All right, so landed that sheep's head on the voodoo shrimp. We are on them, missed a couple of them, but check it out. I got a ton of content planned for these artificials. If y'all do like this type of content though, be sure to get this video to 1,000 likes. If this video reaches 1,000 likes, I will come out here and use lures and bait that you have never seen used before. Just get this video to 1,000 likes and we'll put that content out for y'all. So we're just taking that voodoo shrimp Throwing it along the pilings. I'm in five and a half, six foot of water right here. I'm just letting it drop, getting it really close to the bottom and close to that bridge piling and just giving it some light twitches, kind of letting it fall back down. But the good thing about that voodoo shrimp is where the weight is on the head of this bait right there. When I set that lure down, it sits flat just like that like a a shrimp would if he was just suspended so as i'm working that lure and jerking it back to me it's laying level and looking very very natural oh my goodness Nate! gotta stop missing them Mm. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Boy, he knocked the fire out of it. What a bite. Come here. Uh-uh. Come here. Whoo! Yes, sir. Oh man, what a thump. There was no mistaking that one. That might be the biggest one of the day. Come here. <laughs> yeah, he, he might not be the biggest one, but man, he sure did hit like he was. Incredible. <laughs> there he is. Look at the teeth on that joker right there no mistaking it you get your finger caught in the mouth of one of these guys it'll be a bad day another one for the old voodoo see you girl talk to y'all a little bit about the setup that i'm using so the reel is a shimano corrado 151 i would not suggest throwing a light lure like this on a bait caster i wanted to use a bait caster because I can lock my thumb down on that spool. If that sheep's head starts to pull me into structure, I can just lock it down real simple right there without having to play with my drag too much. But I would not suggest it because it's very hard to throw light lures like this on a bait caster. Uh, but I do got that paired up with 20 pound braid, the 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, and y'all already know what lure I'm using. Uh, but the real star of the show here is this rod and i cannot brag enough about these chubby rods so this rod that i'm using is a 7.2 medium fast action uh made by chubby rods it is 100 made in america with american components 
and this rod retails for 130 bucks i will link those down below but I've, I've been using them for months now and i am extremely impressed matter of fact i will go on record to say this is the best rod on the planet for 130 bucks i feel like you cannot get a better deal than what you're getting with this right here it is true quality at 130 dollars. like i said i can't brag enough about it awesome rod i'll link it in the description uh but yeah we're gonna get back in here see if we can find us another fish if i could get another one to bite like that man i would be all right it's crazy that was a, a heck of a thump most of the time when these sheep's head hit they kind of hit and they just hold for a minute they don't really hit it and charge and that one almost felt like a redfish the way he hit because he hit it and just took off with it and um definitely the hardest hit of the day mm, got him got him oh that's a good one that's a good fish i didn't see what it was but it surfaced right there and made a big boil sheep's head mm, that's a good one good fish yeah oh she <laughs> just peed all over me dude <laughs> all right that dude another fat one all right i mean these fish are about as fat as they can get right there i mean just chunky fellas all right well another awesome catch from the voodoo amazing little sheep's head lures especially the two inches if i were to buy these lures to uh target sheep's head the only size of these voodoo shrimp that i would buy for these sheep's head are the two inch i mean it is just a tiny guy very very lightweight gotta work it slow but it is a sheep's head machine all right y'all well, we had an amazing morning out here fishing on the bridge caught several sheep's heads started off throwing the fiddler crabs caught three sheep's head on that swapped over to the voodoo shrimp missed several good bites caught a flounder landed three other sheep's heads so not a bad morning out here at all i hope y'all enjoyed the video if y'all did hit the like button comment with any questions subscribe if you haven't already we'll see y'all next time